How you doing, bud? Hello. What are you up to? Some people ought to be saved. How to go to heaven. Gospel track. Oh, I'm okay. But are you okay before God? That's the ultimate question. Uh, I, I gotta get back to work, man. Well, don't, Just don't. checking on you, seeing you're okay. I'm, yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. I'd, the only way you'll be okay is if you trust in Jesus Christ and repent of your sins. I trust him. But you're working a strip club. I that, know, that, keep that, people safe, though. But, but what about your soul before God? Because this place treats women like, like sex objects. And you know deep down this is evil. You know deep down. That's why I'm here. If this place wasn't evil, I wouldn't be here. I understand that. I was just checking on you, making sure you're okay. I appreciate that. All right, bud. But, but I'm concerned about your soul, sir. I appreciate it. What's your name? John. John? Yeah. I'm praying for you, John. All right, thank you. I want, I want you to join me in heaven, but that will only happen if you repent, John. Trust in Jesus Christ, John. Everyone knows it. Hello. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, I do. Do you post this on YouTube? Uh, I'm going on Facebook Live right now. Facebook Live? Yeah. It, it may, some of this may be on, on my YouTube channel. Okay, what's your YouTube channel? My name, my name, Nicholas Healed. Nicholas Gill? Then Nicholas Healed, H E A L D. Oh, Healed. Okay. Yeah, he, he, the word Healed without the last E. Yeah. Nick, Nicholas Healed. Okay, cool. I just want to check it out, see if, you know, check it out, see what you do and right, what you do. Uh, I do. A, well, I don't want to. Um, I go everywhere. Yeah. I was at, I was at uh, the abortion mill this morning where they murdered babies. Oh, I know. I go, yeah. I go to, I go to churches, call them to repent for letting babies get murdered. And I, I go to strip clubs, and I go all over the place. And so, I mean, and I do it not because I'm good, not because I'm better. I do it because God saved me. You're trying to help people. Well, yes, in the ultimate way, I, I'm trying to help help people to, I'm trying, I, I give them the gospel. Yeah. Because we all need Jesus Christ. Yeah, I hear that. I, I needed Jesus Christ, and he saved me. Yeah. I need, I need him every day. And, and you do too. Please don't reject him. I don't. I believe in Jesus. I do. I do all that. And well, then you need to repent of this. But I also need a job. I need to make. Well, there are other jobs. Big, there, big there, there, there are. I understand that, but there are jobs where you don't have to sin. Yeah, I know. I, I talked to a professing Christian this morning, that was justifying working on the building where they murdered babies inside that building, just doing my job. You know, he's, he was. He's like, I need a paycheck. Yeah. Well, you don't have to help them murder people, to to feed your family. Yeah, I hear that. And I mean, you may think I, I mean, I'm not trying to say what you're thinking, but you may think that, well, but we're not murdering people here. Well, yeah, you're not, but but sins taking place here. Yeah. And if uh, have you did you say you're a professing Christian? What was that? Did you say you're a professing Christian? Yes. Well, think of how you're treating God by being in a place that He hates. First Corinthians chapter six. There are a list of groups of people that will not inherit the kingdom of God. So I was like a really, I was really into religion a long time ago. Okay. And when I lost my grandfather, it kind of pushed me away from religion and believing in anything. Well, I had a, I had a, uh, my best friend who was my, uh, the greatest spiritual mentor I've ever had, hung himself uh, four years ago. He killed himself. I didn't turn away from God. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm better than you or anything. I'm just saying that people use that as a reason to turn away from God, but it's not. Yeah. I mean, but God's grace, I didn't turn away from Him. I, because I, I can't say there is no God. I can't say, well, uh, I'm going to turn away because Jesus isn't real. No, He's real. I don't understand why it happened, but it did. Yeah. And I've never gotten full con consolation over it, but I don't need to know why it, it happened. Yeah. I, I don't need to know. And you don't. You don't need full consolation over what, I mean, death is part of life. And death is part of life because we've sinned. Yeah. And what's, this, what's the answer to that sin? What's the answer to all of our sin? Jesus Christ. Jesus. And it's, I really encourage you to consider getting a different job. One where you don't have to, to participate in sin. To, and then, I know in this country, we, we, we think, we can justify things and say this isn't sinful, but you know it's sinful. You know what it is. It, you're, maybe you're just trying to justify it or suppressing the truth and unrighteousness, as the Bible says. I don't know. But you know this is wrong. And, I mean, even pagans, even those who aren't Christians, know this is wrong. I, I didn't grow up as a Christian, but I think I, I, think I knew that this was wrong. Yeah. Strip clubs, pornography. I knew that was wrong. I still did it, but I knew it was wrong. Yeah. So, I mean, really, consider what God, what pleases God. 
No, well, I had to make a paycheck. So you did do that? You went to these kind of places before? And no, I, no, I didn't, but I, I looked at pornography. Okay. I know like pretty much every guy does that, but yeah. I, I did it. I was addicted to it, and God saved me out of that addiction. Yeah. A severe addiction. God so saved me married? out of it. you have a wife? I'm single. Oh, you're single? Yeah. Okay. And I, I praise God that I never went to these places. But I still have trash from many, many years in my head. Yeah. And I don't want the people here to live in that sin like I used to live in it. Yeah. That's why I tell people I'm not better than you. I used to live in all kinds of sin. And God saved me. I don't, I don't live in it anymore. I don't try to justify it. Because yeah. if, if you're truly a Christian, you're not going to justify or try to justify your sin. You're going to own up to it. Lord, I've sinned against you. Forgive me. And the Holy Spirit will convict you of that sin. Yeah. And I, I really have to get back inside though okay. before I get in trouble. Okay. But just to let just to let you know, you're not gonna you're not in any trouble. But the owner did call the police department okay. because you were stopping vehicles from getting into the establishment. Well, but I I don't know if he was watching me, but when I I mean you probably understand it wasn't blocking traffic, and they cho they choose to stop. I don't yeah, I don't I, step in front I, of them. I, that's what I told him. I said they're choosing. You know, you're not standing in front of their vehicle. So I mean, he I mean calling the police is wasting their time because I I'm. I, like I said, I do, I do this all the time. I'm careful about stopping traffic. Yeah. If there's multiple vehicles, I don't get in their way. Okay. If it's well, no, if it, I, just it, to, I just wanted to let you know so you know. That's fine. Ahead of time. That's, okay. Right, okay. Thank you.